Let's take a look at Teclos Structures Steel Detailing. Every object we can see here on the screen can be edited. To start with, we will double click on the grid to get into the grid properties. And here we can edit the grid to suit the structure we are about to model. It is also incredibly easy to create irregular grid patterns. On this model we don't need a radial grid, so let's go back to where we started by using the undo command. You may receive a CAD drawing from an architect and they can be referenced into Tecla. We can trace over them. To start with here I'm just going to add a few pad footings. Tecla will also of course accept 3D CAD files and in particular IFC files. These are extremely useful and they can be converted to native Tecla objects. Of course, if you are a steel detailer, you don't have to model the concrete footings, but it is possible to do so in the steel detailing configuration. We can produce our general arrangements at any time, so let's go ahead and create one now. I'm just going to add some dimensions to one of the pad footings to show you how Tecla handles revisions. If we go back to the model, I might add some strip footings and some rebar using Tecla's out of the box library. Reopening the drawing again shows us that Tecla has clouded for us the changes and has even told us what the changes were. Tecla has an extensive library of fully automated and detailed connections. Applying these connections is simply a matter of choosing the connection you want and then choosing the part to apply it to. We can also reference in a mechanical model that we got off our mechanical engineer. This allows us to model accurately. We can even use the clash checking tool to check for clashes between Tecla members and the reference model. Now let's model the rest of the roof structure using out of the box Perlin profile and the coal rolled overlap components. The component adjusts automatically according to the Stramit and Lysart specifications for different Perlin sizes. We can bend an existing beam by entering a radius on the properties dialog. The connections we created earlier are bound to the beams and you can see the connection adjusts dynamically.
Dates can be inserted by selecting the stair components and then specifying the start and end point. We can create handrails by activating the handrailing component and then select the stringer where we are attaching the railing to. You can change the type of handrailing from the component properties to suit your purpose. Now I want to show you what we can get out of the model. Let's create all the assembly drawings for this project and for that we'll use the drawing wizard. In this demonstration the model is pretty much complete so there is nothing stopping us from producing drawings or reports at any stage throughout the modelling phase. We can see here that the beam and column drawing look pretty much complete. Manual changes can be made, like moving, adding or deleting dimensions, and creating your own enlarged details and section views. Tegla can also export the model to many file formats, such as IFC, 3D DWG and 3D DGN, and it can export high quality CNC data for a wide variety of machinery. We will also use the drawing wizard to create single part drawings. This way, specified dimensioning and representation settings are used for each member type. We can select the model views that we want to insert into our GA drawing. The drawing looks almost complete already. We can do a few additions, modifications to finish off the drawing. We can easily export the model to a BIM site package and share the model with builders, project managers and all stakeholders. Tecla BIM site is a free program that allows combining models, class checking between models and inserting notes and comments. Tecla comes with a comprehensive range of reports. I will just run the Excel material list as an example here. These reports are fully customizable and can be done so by the average user. 